Welcome to the second pull request video in the series, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at a PR I put up for um, my Oscillate API Gateway project. So this is a .NET Web API, and it's going to be a microservice that's that's going to be for my uh, API Gateway. So basically, I'll be able to call this, and then it'll reroute me to uh, whichever microservice I need to need to be, and I'm using Oscillate API Gateway, uh, so I just download the NuGet package, and then I just set up basic routes and um, add it to uh, the middleware that I needed. Uh, that I added the middleware that I needed to add. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. So the first one is just the standard CS proj changes to add Oscillate, um, so that's fine. The program CS changes are going to be me adding the oscillate uh, middleware I need. So I don't like how it does the. Uh, see if I expand, okay. It's I'm still getting used to gets uh, pull request diffs. I'm used to um, I'm used to TFS mainly um, and Bitbucket, but I'm still getting used to gets. So the green here is stuff I added. Um, so I had to add basically a reference to the oscillates configuration file. So I named it oscillate.json. So I'm telling it to add this configuration. Um, and then I'm going to actually add the uh, oscillate service to the middleware pipeline um, and then just pass in the configuration um, that I basically told it to add there. And then app.useOscillate. So when I call that, it's basically going to look at this JSON file that I specified here, and I specified routes, downstream path template, and then scheme, and then the host and ports. So this is going to be hosted on seven um, uh, hold on a second. This port and host are the port and host of the microservice that I'm telling it to point to. So whenever I hit this upstream path template, upstream is I'm going to the API gateway, downstream is going down to the, um, the microservice that I'm trying to call. So if I want to hit this, I go um, slash gateway slash get engines. And then here that's going to take me, route me to slash API engines, get, get engines on this localhost port 7112. Um, so when I have my microservice running in my API gateway, it'll route me to my, my, my microservice, my engine's API microservice. And then I just added some rate limiting options. Um, most of this right now is just kind of a template for me to use later on. This was just uh, for me to, just to get a uh, proof of concept to prototype up. And then you can pass in a global configuration and my base URL is basically just the, the uh, port number that this... Um, web API is gonna, runs on. So you can check that in your uh, launch settings if you need to, but I just have it manually specified here. Um, so that's all good. Oh, and if we yeah. don't require approval, I can add a rule, but I don't think it's gonna add a rule for me. I can just merge it myself. So we're gonna go ahead and merge that into our main branch. So it merged it in and we should be able to pull that down in our Visual Studio just fine. So that's just the basic process. And again, this was the associated uh, ticket for that. So I guess we can pull that up in my, my board here. So API Gateway, create API Gateway microservice. That's now into our main branch. So we can go ahead and move that into the done column because we literally just did that. And I think the next one we're going to have to add is our... Um, I think, see, I think I may hold off on this until I get a couple other things set up, but I'm going to figure out what I need to add in next. But I think um, I think we should be good for tonight's code review, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.